Turkey API. And it's in Tele Upper Tele Operation Viewer. Okay. And build now P one two three Linux three two release. Bin. These work. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's the output from the Prime Sense sensor. And um, here's the mouse. Okay. So I got this neat control panel just to talk to AL Motion. Uh, I've got a program that in one thread is sitting here hammering the sensor, getting um, all the skeleton data if it exists. And then I have another thread that's connected to AL Motion, and it's just sending a bunch of commands based on uh, my body's position. And so I can first turn his stiffness on. I have to help him out for a second here. And um, let's go to the init pose. Okay. Now wait. The trick is. I gotta move from here, but I don't want the skeleton tracker to get me yet. <laughs> so then, okay. So now he's just watching my hands a little bit, and it's just puppetry. It's really I just glued the. Um, excuse me. I might in a moment. Uh, let you know. Uh, really, it's just uh, gluing the skeleton API into the now key API. And from the connect, I get some XYZ coordinates of all the body parts. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I, mean, I get XYZ coordinates. Uh, you get rotations of the joints, too, but it's actually uh, not very useful for directly going to the robot. Uh, the rotational information from OpenEye is really, really bad. And uh, so I took these XYZ coordinates and I did a bunch of trigonometric tricks. Like um, I took this XYZ, this XYZ, this XYZ. I made a vector going that way, a vector going that way. Then you take the dot product of the vectors and do inverse cosine, and it gives you the inner angle. Then I just take that angle and I extend it to AO motion to make the, um, uh, the elbow joint do that. Hmm. And um, I have some parameters, like, you can see he's kind of, um, he's, he's a little shaky, he's kind of smooth, he's, um, how fast if I move, I go, it's, there's a little bit of a delay, so I have, uh, lots of little parameters, don't move at him, or it's going to start tracking you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you move, it's going to see you, you're going to start taking control. Um, so I can, let's make it dangerous, I'll, his motor speed was at 0 0.7, I can go make motor speed full speed, um, and, um, uh, well, yeah, I won't do that quite yet. First, I'm taking the connect data at 30 frames per second, and I was smoothing 8 out of every 30 frames. Uh, so that already meant that uh, it was experiencing about a third second delay. Um, he saw he was maybe a little jerky. If we smooth in, let's say, almost a second to frames, and I lower his speed down to 0.5 or so, um, let's see if this... Uh I know, is it smoother? Is it? I don't know. I don't yeah. know so much of it. Yeah, Do you think so? Yeah, I guess this whole body is shaking less. But uh, I don't like to run it that way. I like to run it really dangerous. So it can make it nice and real time. Um, back in the day, I, I, uh, about a year ago, I did a dance with this. And I, um, I needed it to react as fast as possible. So I smoothed no frames. I sent every frame to the robot as quickly as possible. And uh, I do it at the maximum speed. So, I need some uh, music for this. <laughs> yeah. 
And uh, I'm going to enable this other thing here, this enable leg movement. That's not enabled by default, because uh, <laughs> you can do this. But if I decide to go up really quick, he's going to fly away. <laughs> um, uh, I would recommend this on your robot. Uh, you have a one-year warranty, but... Akeem, I don't know if that covers heavy abuse. Akeem, Akeem. Hey, you, well, you have to dance now, because you're going to dance. Yeah, you can dance. Yeah. 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 You can do this. Wait, I have to move 